Okay, so before we get into foundations, and this is not even half of them, um, I want to address liquid illuminators. Now, I know the other ones with liquid illuminators as well. You could wear them on top or whatever, but um, there are some that I need to get rid of. And I'm going to keep my cover effects and my Marc Jacobs, but I'm going to get... I had this in a project pan, and it's just gunky and just look at the top. It's just old and it's old <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of this and I believe I'm gonna get rid of this is the born the glow let me swatch these okay so these are the swatches of the three I think I'm going to keep the two dark ones and get rid of the light one because this one the one to the far left is pure gold the one in the middle is called Sun Goddess. That's really pretty. And then the lightest one is called Gleam. It's kind of like a rose gold, which I feel like I have a lot of things that are kind of similar to those. I don't know. I'll keep this one in my bag and I will keep these over to the side. These are going to be great for summer and spring. Uh, mostly summer but I'm definitely keeping these for sure oh and by the way I made my own look at that I made my own I put pigments in here and I made my own illuminating spray so very very cool I didn't want to pick up the ones from Mac because I kind of like knew what to do so you just put your MAC pigments in it and it gives you the same thing. Yay. Let me know if you guys want to see a DIY on this. But it's super easy. And this is my travel one. Hey guys, so here is the foundation declutter. These are all of my foundations. I currently have, have 28 foundations. Way too many that I can use i am reviewing the top row those are ones that are either unopened or you haven't seen a review on and then there are a few other ones in here that you haven't seen a review on but i do plan on decluttering some and i do have a method uh, first of all we're going to get rid of anything that's too old second things that are not my color and third would be things that are uh, just not my my favorite. I love luminous, radiant, like sheer to medium, even satin finishes. I do not prefer a matte. So we're going to go through these and we're going to jump right in. If you hadn't subscribed, just know I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first things we are going to get rid of are things that are old. I already know this BB water broke me out, so I am decluttering that. This Milani uh, 2 and 1, I really liked, but it's old. I haven't picked it up in a while, and so I'm going to declutter that one. I do need to consider a different shade, too. I think this might be a tad too dark for me. But, uh, yeah, that's something we can revisit in the future. Another one that is old. Uh, not really old. This is not. Mm, it's two years old. Have I picked it up enough? Uh, I tend to. You know what? This one kind of breaks me out. It might be too old. Because I get bumps in the top of my head, at, on my forehead, when I use this. So, we're going to declutter this. I might revisit this later. So, are those the only ones that are old? Okay. So, the next thing we are going to go through are the things that are not my shade. I already talked about this one not being my shade. Another one that's not my shade and it's modifying is the black opal this is the pore perfecting liquid foundation really wanted to like this one but it was way too drying and it came out too pink this is the heavenly honey i think the next one that is in line is too dark for me so black opal just not is it's probably just not for me so we'll get rid of that one another one that was not my color 
was the Revlon Color Stay. This is the Normal to Dry 370 Toast. It was extremely too red and it did not have enough of a pink undertone. Focus. There you go. Did not have enough of a pink undertone. I mean of a yellow undertone. So we have already decluttered you guys five foundations. I'm so proud of myself because I thought that this was going to be extremely hard for me. I am not going to be decluttering any of the ones at the top. But I do want out of the ones down here, I do want to cut this in half. Another foundation that I know that is mattifying and is in the box. So I'll probably be selling this on Poshmark. I don't know even why I got this. This is the Ebon. Yes, I do. I know why I got this. I got this because it was on sale, which I had no business getting this because it was on sale. Because it's too mattifying. This is the Ebon Luxury Concealing Foundation. And I have it in Sand 4. If you can see that. Way too mattifying. It's going in the bin. Not in the bin, but I think I'm going to sell it in Poshmark. It's brand new. It's brand spiking new. In terms of the other ones, um, these two are old. These three are old. These three may have homes, okay? Yes. Let's talk about something that I do like since I've talked about four, uh, actually six that I'm not going to keep. This one actually looks like it's pink, but this is my favorite foundation of all time. This is the Veil Sunset Skin. I, this is not going anywhere. I'm going to put this over here. Another one I am going to keep because I really have, I need to use it more, is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I need to try this because I really haven't given it a chance. I just need to try it. So it's going over there. Another one uh, that I really like. Actually, I like these two. Now, ugh. I don't want to make a decision because I really like both of these. But if I had to choose, I would use the All Day Flawless. But I'm not going to choose. I'm going to keep these two. Okay. I really enjoyed this. It This one is a buildable coverage. This is the Total Control Drops. I really liked how this looked on my skin. It really, it really reminds me of the BB Water. So I'm going to keep this for my sheer days. And I'm going to put it over here. So I have five over here, decluttered six. Another one I'm going to keep is the L'Oreal True Match. This is in W7, Caramel Beige. I really do enjoy this. This is a foundation back in the day that I really loved. So I'm going to put it over here. Okay. This one reminds me of the Makeup Forever that's up there. Oh, I don't have to have the Makeup Forever. I know how this one works. Um... I'm going to keep the HD. I think it's always good to keep an HD, but I am going to let go of the LA Girl. So I have seven decluttered and I'm keeping seven. So that's pretty cool. I like how we're going, going about this right now. Okay, so the Jouer foundations. I wish I knew my perfect shade, but I kind of like it like this because when I wear this, I do not need a concealer. Especially with this lighter shade. I have Macchiato and Cafe. I really do enjoy this. This is in my top five of foundations. I am going to hold on to these two. And yeah. Have not reviewed the Fiona Styles. So I am going to hold on to this one as well. Uh, the Matte and Poreless. I think I want to hold on to this. Especially since spring and summer is coming along. I want to try this and see... I'm going to try this again and wear it every day and see how I like it. I say a lot of double wear. I feel like that this is a classic. I think that this is a foundation that every girl should have in their, you know, I've tried this, but I haven't reviewed this. So I need to review this for you guys. And by the way, any review of any of the products that I have or any of the foundations that I have, I'll link them down below. But uh, yeah, I think that this is something that every girl needs especially on special occasions and you want to be sweat proof uh transfer resistant all of that stuff i have it in 3w2 cashew i'm gonna hold on to that and my georgia armani luminous silk i am gonna put this in a project pan uh i need to use this up and it still looks great 
has not broken me out so I want to use this as much as possible I think I'm halfway through this but I do want to get as much use as possible with this one so I'll go over the ones up there up top I'll go through these up top so you'll see but I have like two or three drugstore. Oh, I have done a review on this one. This is the Ready Set Gorgeous. This looks amazing on my skin. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Okay. I need to review. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is in DW2. Need to try that one. This is the Dior Star foundation and I tried this in the store and really liked it I have it in the shade 040 you can see that come on focus there you go so I need to try that these are an unopened Smashbox Studio skin this is one that I loved back in the day I have the Born This Way foundation in honey and I know I'm going to want this when the Giorgio Armani runs out this reminds me a lot of the luminous silk so um, I'm gonna hold on to this one I need to review the other Too Faced foundation which is the is this the soft matte what is this called the peach perfect comfort matte it's oil free Oil controlling, photo friendly. I heard that this one is a comfortable, like matte, like satin, not so, not truly. And it's one of the few foundations that I actually keep in a, I actually have in a tube that I probably would be willing to travel with this. So we'll see. This one is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I have it in Fearless, in the shade Fearless. And let me let you see how this looks. This is a very emollient, luminous foundation that I need to get some use out of. Very pretty bottle. And last one is the e.l.f. This is the Flawless. What is this called? The This is in caramel, but I got this is uh, the Flawless finished foundation. I don't like the fact that they don't have it on here, but it's oil free and has SPF 15 in it and it's the shade caramel. So let's see how we did. We decluttered seven and some of these are unopened that I need to review. Let's see. These are all ones. Oh no, I haven't reviewed this. Okay. So I haven't reviewed this either, but we'll, or this one. I think all of the other ones I have. I need to go through these over here and do some foundation tests and go through these and see which ones I'm going to keep. But so far, we've decluttered seven. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, love you.